Hi everybody and welcome to my May Favorites video. The first thing that I want to mention is one of my favorites this month was Lush. Just in general, like, I spent an absurd amount of money on some stuff from Lush. It was exam week, I got kind of stressed out, and I was like, let's buy a bunch of bath bombs. This is the only one I have left. That was two or three weeks ago. So this is one of my favorites always from Lush, and that's the Ocean Salt Scrub. This is the self-preserving one, and the one I had before was not. So far, I think I can tell a little bit of a difference, but we'll see if that's just that this is really fresh and new. This top coat. A lot of people have been talking about this, and this is the Gel Shine 3D Top Coat from Sally Hansen. Now, on to some makeup Brow products from Hard Candy. Hard Candy has kind of stepped up their game recently, and they do a lot of products that I think are inspired, and some often dupes for products from your higher-end brands like Urban Decay, Too Faced, Benefit. Uh, and these remind me of the Benefit Gimme Brow, which if you have ever used that, which I actually have used the Gimme Brow, it has a teeny tiny little brush and it has little hair fibers and it's a kind of like a fiber mascara for your eyebrows. These are awesome dupes and they're like six bucks at least. I really, really like it for me. And that is these Rimmel Stay Blushed and these are from... Um, the same line is like the stay matte and the primer that goes with that and you can see that the packaging is still very similar. I haven't seen these very many places and that's the part that really um, I think is the reason a lot of people have never used these or don't know about these is because they're kind of hard to find. They blend out great on the cheeks. I usually use them with the tinted moisturizer or I'll put them underneath the mascara palette. that I've been obsessed with for the last couple of months is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And I don't really know what to really say about this. I just wanted to mention it because I like it so much and this is a little sample size. I have not committed to buying the full size purely because the tube is absurdly big. It's really like the girth of it is very wide and I'm just like no, and I saw this and it's basically a full size. Like, you can't keep a mascara forever anyway. The amount, the expiration time, three months, is usually when you should replace your mascara. So, to me it doesn't make sense to buy anything bigger than this if I can get this. Um, but I really like this mascara. It has a fiber brush, which I particularly like, and it's just a really great formula for my lashes. I have been using the Naked Skin Concealer. I was using the NARS Creamy Radiance Concealer, which I also still like, but I found this and I wanted to try it. And for summer, this is really great because it's a little bit of a lighter formula than the NARS one. Um, this is also by Urban Decay, and the color that I have is Fair Neutral which I believe is like the lightest shade. If it's not, it's the next to lightest shade. But for me, it's so hard to find a good concealer for the under eye area for brightening. And that's what I use this for, and I really like I it. I by no means dislike the coverage, but I do use it in conjunction with the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. Um, and this is just your standard creamy under eye corrector, and I always put this on specifically the inner half of my eye where my dark circles are worst, because my dark circles are pretty bad. I don't like them. I will wear this some days without a concealer over top of it just to conceal those dark circles. This is a really great product. I've used similar products but I like the formula of this one best. It's creamy and it doesn't crease on me. I do set my under eye products regardless of whether it's this alone or that with the concealer. I do set it with a translucent powder just to prevent any transfer of my eye makeup, my mascara, and that is all my makeup favorites for this month. But let's talk about these ones real quick because these are really my favorites. The ones that I wore the most are these. I believe I originally, originally, I believe I originally got these at TJ Maxx. They are Franco Sarto, um, and they have, they, are, they don't have a huge heel, but they are a cotton black 
cork wedge with um, a vintage style t-strap which totally goes with most of the clothes that I wear as I wear a lot of 50s influenced outfits. So these are by these are corks by Corkies, and I actually bought these, I believe, either at Belk or JCPenney's. I just really liked them. I thought they were really comfy. They were pricey because I don't usually buy my shoes at department stores. I was at Old Navy and found these. These are kind of a cross between the last two. They are black. They actually have a chunky heel as opposed to a wedge. These are also T-strap, but they're a little bit different. So these are a good alternative when I don't want to wear the cork ones, because I do really like those, but I don't want to tear them up. Um, I've had them a lot longer. But these are red. These are Kenneth Cole Reaction. I got these at TJ Maxx, Ross, TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx. But these are just my little pop of color version. And my final favorite, food favorite for the month, is coffee. Coffee is everybody's favorite. Yes, this is Starbucks. No, I did not buy this specifically for this video. It is um, an Americano, and that's my favorite. I have gotten them at other places, not just Starbucks, but my favorite drink right now is an iced Americano. During exam week, I drink them black. I've really gotten away from drinking coffee and moving into the espresso, just because I like the taste better. So my final favorite is Americanos. So thank you guys for watching my May favorite. See ya. Bye. A gel manny. A gel manny. Two. Two. Well, our turn.